Hey you guys, it's Nadi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys, but I'm so excited to be back. I decided that I'm going to start off me being back with a 24 hour crochet with me video. And I'm gonna let Pinterest choose most of my projects. don't use my Pinterest very often but if you guys would like to follow me on Pinterest it's just naughty loops a lot of the stuff that I recently saved the stuff that I really want to do these little mini purses I want to make one for my daughter she's about to turn three probably this cute little chunky one probably not with that crochet style though just something really simple I definitely want to make one of these bunny scrunchies I think they're super adorable and um, I'm probably going to use this yarn for hers but I have this like purple velvety yarn and also this like really cute gray velvety yarn that I want to use to make some scrunchies for me some of y'all know I got a kit I got a kitten recently and I've been crocheting stuff for him I thought she was a girl at first she was he excuse me he was really really little when we first got him so I didn't realize he had like I didn't realize he had testicles but I want to make him one of these little uh, mats for his food and drink to go on because he is a really really messy drinker like the messiest messy drinker he doesn't use his paws or anything but he dips his whole face and then his chest gets like soaking wet with water i want to make one of these bucket hats but with a design in the middle instead of like a regular i want to make a granny square bucket hat but with a design in the middle usually when i do granny square projects i do just strictly the granny square i don't ever do like any cute like center or accessories so i think that um yeah, I want to do one that has like a, uh, oh, I want to do a, like a Scooby-Doo hat, like the flowers that are on Scooby-Doo, like the groovy looking ones. I think I want to make some granny squares out of those and then make a wavy brim hat with that. And that would be really, really cute. Oh, and I also need to, um, my husband's hats are all over the house all over the damn house like it's crazy every everywhere I go I always find one of his baseball caps and apparently the hooks aren't working so I'm gonna make one of these to put into either our bedroom or our hall um our downstairs closet so he can hang up his hats um man I want to make a dress I need to go yarn shopping though because I don't have a lot of like I don't know, maybe I have some colors that like I could throw together to match or maybe make it a scrap yarn dress. I might actually do that. I haven't did a scrap yarn project in a while and I'm really low on my <laughs> color choices. I have this big old bag right here. Oh, that I'm trying to choose all my yarn from. And I have like more bags upstairs but I don't wanna have to pull them out my closet. Okay, so. I need to write that down before I forget what I want to do. 24 hour. Since the projects that I chose weren't exactly the ones that I saw on Pinterest, I'm gonna probably go and maybe find some inspiration so that I can pit the two by a side or whatever. Usually when I choose my projects from Pinterest, I get like the inspiration and then kind of just like add my own flair. I don't really like making projects directly from what I see on Pinterest, if that makes sense. Or projects that I see like directly anywhere, really. I like to add like my own little, you know, add my own little razzle dazzle to it. I wanted to make another hat for him because the two hats that I made were pretty girly and obviously he's a boy, so this is my list of stuff that I have to get done. <laughs> I'll put a prettier list up on the screen because that handwriting is atrocious. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so since I'm trying to use all this stuff, I think most of it is cotton in here though, maybe. So I don't know if that's uh, hmm. But I'm gonna use these two colors to make Maverick's cat mat, like his food mat, because they're cotton. And let's see. Got some bamboo yarn. Ooh, I wanna use this to make him a little hat. It's gonna be really soft and floppy. 
I might make him a toy too out of the same material, but I think that'll be really good. Um, it's been five seconds. I'm already getting irritated going through that bag. I was going to film, I was actually going to film and organize my yarn with me, but then I just, I did not feel like it, but now I'm suffering the consequences. <laughs> um, hmm. Man, this is making me want to buy some more yarn so bad. But I, I don't even use what I have, so I can't keep buying more yarn. It's looking like I'm going to have to make a trip upstairs into my closet to find yarn for basically everything else. <laughs> I brought down this Joanne's box because I have a lot of acrylic acrylic yarn in here I got some projects in here too but I like this orange so I think I'm gonna use that it gives groovy right I found a crochet tutorial by stitching with Liz for the 70s vintage daisy flower is what it's called and um, yeah so I'm gonna use her tutorial because I've never done it before and I'll let you guys see how it turns out I realized I forgot to tell you guys what time it is. Right now it's 3.10. I started this video about 10, 15 minutes ago. And this is what I have done of this. I started crocheting this like two minutes ago. <laughs> so yeah, uh, well, I'll just say I started at three o'clock. And so, you know, it'll just run until three o'clock tomorrow. It's 5.30, I just finished my first square. <laughs> it didn't take me two hours to finish a square. I had just had to tend to my children. I had to feed them and give them baths and stuff. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long the square took. I didn't time myself, but the next time I make one, I will. I think I only have to make, um, I'm pretty sure I only have to make four more of these. I think it turned out pretty cute. It's my first ever granny square with a design on it. I have literally never made like a like a designed granny square. Like I've made granny squares and then put like appliques on top, but like that's about it. I think it turned out so cute. So I'm gonna make four more with some different colors and just keep the white base. It's currently 11 o'clock, we're eight hours in. I've gotten two squares made and I just inverted the colors. I took a quick break because using the three millimeter hook was killing my hand, absolutely killing my hand. I did make this hat for my cat. You know, it's one of those like cat hats, but for a cat, I thought that was funny. He hates it. <laughs> He absolutely hates it. He does not want to put it on like at all. I'm gonna make him another one like the other ones with where his ears can be free. He doesn't have a problem with tucking his ears because he likes to like be inside of things and stuff, but he just does not like this hat and I can understand why. I also already went and made his fish mat. So let me show you. Here it is. About the size of my hand. I added a little googly eye. Do you like it? <laughs> I'm probably gonna go ahead and do the rest of these squares tonight and then call it a night because I have to get up pretty early. So it's the next morning. It is 9:49. Um, I went. I wound up going to sleep at like. 1 2 o'clock I think but I did get some stuff finished before I went to bed 
I got all five of my squares finished. So now I just need to put them together. But since I'm using a three millimeter hook, I'ma probably save that for last cause it's really killing my like fingers and knuckles. But yeah, these are so pretty. I love them so much. I'm really excited for the hat. It's gonna look real cute. Um, I showed you guys the cat hat that I made for my cat. He absolutely hated it. So uh, yeah, I'ma probably just scrap this because I don't know. I don't wanna just keep it for no reason. Um, I showed you guys the cat mat. It's already a hot mess. There's already food and water all over it. So <laughs> it was very well needed. Um, this is the bunny ear scrunchies. I think they're so cute. Oh my God, look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna give this to my daughter for her birthday present. Um, her birthday is in about two weeks. She hasn't seen this yet and I'm not gonna show her. And it also matches this little purse that I made for her. It's so fluffy and soft. I'm thinking about adding a liner on the inside just so that, um, just so in case she puts anything in here like crayons or you know, like her pins or anything like that, they won't fall out the bottom. But I think this is so freaking adorable. Oh my God. But yeah, that's what I have so far. Um, how many hours do I have left? Okay, it's about, it's just about to be 10 o'clock, it's 9.50. And I said three, right? I gotta count my fingers. <laughs> 11, 12, one, two, three. I got five hours. Shoot, it might take me five hours just to finish that daggone hat with this three millimeter crochet hook. Hmm. I think I'm going to um, I'm going to try to go ahead and do one more small project before I start working on the head. I made a sample hat hanger just to test it out. I'm gonna actually take this apart and make it longer, but when I put it back up, I'm recording baby. But when I put it back up, I'm gonna add another stick to the bottom so that way it's more rigid and put together. But I really like it, it holds the hats well and I can just, you know, stick it in his office. <laughs> Okay, so my last update, it's 2.20, basically 2.30, and this is the hat. I followed a pattern I hadn't followed before for the flower, and I used a three millimeter hook because she said that it was like a good size if I was gonna make a hat, but it turns out it's too small for me, but it fits perfectly on my two-year-old, so. I will say I overestimated my abilities with how much I will be able to crochet in 24 hours, but I'm really excited that I did this challenge and I had a lot of fun. And I'm really glad I finally knocked some stuff off of my like, to try list. I've been in love with these like little small purses. If I made myself one that was like this size, I would probably just make the handle a little bit bigger. After I did this first square, like after I did one of these squares, I thought it was gonna take way longer than it did to finish it. I'm really surprised that I finished it in the 24 hours, honestly. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and I wanted to thank you guys for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. Right now, I think I'm at about 9,700, but by the time I post this video, I'm pretty sure I'll be right on the edge of 10K. And I really wanted to thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to me. I'm really, really close to being monetized. So, you know, I just need to remain consistent. And it's really fun posting on this channel. Um, if you guys want to see anything, you know, just leave a comment. I'll try to be better at reading my comments and responding to everybody. And again, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.